Hey, what's going on, everybody? Ryan Newpel here, Noob Sports Show, episode 220. Man, we are moving up there in the world. 220 episodes of this little show. Excited to uh, be here again with you and uh, talk a little sports, talk a little sports business. Uh, and today, talk a little picks, talk a little real cash prizes with picks. I got another awesome guest that you guys are not going to want to miss here in just a bit. Little housekeeping before we get started. I will be at the SBC North America event May 7th through 9th. That is next week, according to this uh, recording time. Uh, if you're going to be at this event, please let me know. I'd love to sit down, talk with you, chat with you, even just say hello. If you listen to this show and you see me pop by, say, hey, I'd like to listen to your show. It gives me a little bit of encouragement that there's at least one listener out there to this uh, to this show. But uh, if you have not got your ticket for this event, please use New Partner VIP as a promo code. You'll get a little money off uh, with your ticket. Um, but yeah, I'd love to talk to you at that event. Should be an awesome event. They always do a great job with that event. And I believe my guest today is going as well. So we'll talk about that a little bit on the show. All right, that's it for the uh, housekeeping. Let's jump right into the show. Let's bring on my guest. Today I have Brett DeBerry of Wind Streaks. Brett, how are you, my friend? Hey, good, Ryan. How are you doing? Doing amazing, man. Doing really good here in Orlando, Florida. You're over in Arizona, right? Yeah, right in Scottsdale. So uh, perfect time of the year. I don't know. I like the 85 to 90 degree weather. Can't beat it, man. I moved from uh, Illinois uh, down to Florida about eight years ago. And I said, uh, man, I like escaped the Midwest weather down to the sunny weather. So I can't beat it. Awesome, Brett. Well, let's dive in here. I'm excited to learn about you and wind streaks and what all's going on there. Um, so first off, tell me about yourself. Tell us what makes you tick, what, you know, kind of your career path that led you into starting wind streaks. Yeah. So always been a big sports fan. Uh, that's, you know, that's my jam. Grew up in Connecticut, so, you know, not to kind of brag or whatever, but two nice national championships uh, for the Huskies uh, the last two years, and this one was in Glendale, so that was fantastic going to that one. Uh, but, yeah, always been a sports fan, played Division three college basketball, didn't really play, but was on the team, and uh, just always had that, that knack for just competitiveness. And when I realized my career was over, I uh, wanted to get into sports, but, you know, making money in tech sales was the thing to do in 2004, 2005, all the way for the last, you know, 15, 18 years. Uh, but the last job I had was working at Amazon AWS. So mm -hmm. did startup sales. I had about 150 customers all along the uh, West Coast and cool. was really talking to a lot of entrepreneurs about how they got their starts, how they raised money. And I was like, you know, let me take a stab at this and found an accelerator program called On Deck. Mm -hmm. uh, it was great. I got into their program. They had about 10,000 applicants. They brought on 120, gave us or invested, not gave uh, 125K to each of us to run our companies. So that's how I got my start about a year and a half ago. And since then, been building out the app. Not me personally. I've had some developers doing it. I'm the uh, sales guy, the idea guy, the business guy. And uh, yeah, we're rocking and rolling. Been in the app store for six, nine months and almost have a thousand people playing per week. But yeah, that's kind of my thing. I like it and I'm able to enjoy what I'm doing versus selling cloud storage, which people don't even know what the cloud means. And you know, most of my customers don't, but they just know, hey, Amazon is running the world and I was happy to be a part of that for a while. That's awesome. That, that's what I love about that first question is it's funny because everyone has their own unique story to where they got to today. But a lot of us in sports, it all starts with just, man, we just love sports. And when we got out of playing sports, we had to find some way to continue down that sports realm. And that 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 answer is consistent across a lot of entrepreneurs in this space, which is just a an amazing thing to hear. And I can relate with you. I played uh, division three basketball as well. So a uh, couple of fellow D three basketballers here. <laughs> I was more of a cheerleader on the, uh, on the bench, but, uh, but yeah, no, it was good though. Again, keeping, keeping that up after AAU and high school basketball was again, staying competitive. And then when I realized I wasn't good enough, cause I'm, you know, five eleven, and you know, these are, you know, these are big boys out there, even in D three, I said, okay, you know, let's just focus on, uh, you know, getting the studies done. Uh, and, you know, started playing golf and swimming and all those types of things. But hey. yeah, I, could I like be worse. It. could be worse. Play a little, play a little golf, do a little swimming. I mean, life could be worse there. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for that background. Appreciate uh, you kind of sharing that story, but let's dive into wind streaks and talk a little bit more about the, uh, I guess the guts of what it is, you know, why don't you give us the thousand foot view of what wind streaks is uh, and what you're out to accomplish? Yeah, sure. So, I mean, I would assume most of this audience is pretty familiar with uh, ESPN streak for the cash back for the last, you know, for 10, 15 years that they ran it. And, you know, it shut down last August, but they had over 3 million people download and play that app. And even at the end, over 125,000 people log in every day. And 
from that standpoint, no, you know, nobody really ever won any prizes. Let me ask you, Ryan, did you ever play Ryan and did you win? I played a few times. I don't think I ever won. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, I was at, I was, I was in the first pitch contest at FSGA uh, back in uh, February and literally did that. Start my pitch off. Hey, how many people raise your hand? If you ever played ESPN street for the cash, keep yeah. your hand up. If you ever won even a dollar and you know, everyone laughed and uh, <laughs> yeah, everyone laughed and they said, okay, so I'm pretty much ESPN street for the cash 2.0. Uh, so instead yeah. of having to build a streak of 30 wins in a row yeah. and one person potentially winning $10,000, which some months doesn't even happen, you pick five games a day and it's a weekly contest Monday through Sunday and a hundred people win prizes anywhere from a dollar to a hundred dollars per week. And if you hit 2000 points, which the odds are around 20,000 to one, instead of the over a million to one for ESPN streak, uh, you can get, you can win $2,000. So 2000 points, $2,000. That's really cool. That's awesome. So let me first ask you, so uh, comparing it to the ESPN product, because I think everybody is familiar with what they had going on, but I don't know that everybody's familiar that they even shut down, right? Why did they shut down? Was it just one of those? Uh, uh, I'm sure you're familiar with why. Was there a why to why they shut down? So there's, so I'm not familiar. I can only speculate, but my yeah. main thing is, you know, they probably ran out of people downloading the app. So it didn't make sense to continue to market it and those types sure. of things. And, you know, they made the whole acquisition with Penn Gaming. So they run ESPN bet. So I think they already had all their free to play players to convert and they don't want people spending their time on free to play games. They want them to spend their money. I'm, I'll, I'll say risk their money, but more spending because it's very tough to win gambling. And as we all know that, but yeah, I think that's the main reason they already had those people and they want to more focus on their ESPN bet platform. Yeah. So talk a little bit more about the, the free to play, you know, mindset with this. So is it truly free to play? Like I don't have to deposit any money or anything to be a part of it? Absolutely. So you sign up and we, we take your, your name, your phone number, your email, and you have an account. You put your username in and that's it. Uh, you can spend a dollar in the app to get these things called boosts. So mm -hmm. if you ever want to spend money, you can only spend a dollar at once and you get 20 free boosts. But you can also earn boosts by getting points, mm -hmm. by uh, watching advertisements in the app. So yeah, zero, zero deposits. And yeah, you can win anywhere from again, a dollar to a hundred dollars per week, if not two grand. And we really want to focus on those types of people that, and this is kind of where I say, you know, some people don't smoke, some people don't drink, some people don't gamble. It's just things they don't do. And we want to focus on those types of people that enjoy sports. They want to have that rush of picking winners, rooting for their teams and potentially moving up a leaderboard without having to deposit their hard earned money. And that's really the the market that we're going after and we've been doing pretty well so far that's awesome tell us about uh, congrats on that first of all but tell us about uh how it's been going so where are you at in the product life cycle uh you know i see you, you know you do have apps out here you're you're rolling tell us a little bit about where you're at in the product life cycle yeah so we've been live for you know closer to nine months we've had some bugs in the past but pretty much you know the last two or three months we've been solid you know everything's mm -hmm. working you know those are the things the bane of my existence is is uh, app issues, but got a good developer on the team and we've been able to test and get all these bugs out. But yeah, since then, you know, we've grown almost to a thousand players and we've spent under $10,000 in marketing. Wow. Uh, that's most of the money went to the development of the app. Uh, we're seeing about 25% of the people that are joining now are from referrals and we do have a great referral program. So Ryan, here's kind of what we do. Instead of, you know, giving people dollars for referring friends, we give you a referral bonus when your friends win. So let's say hmm. I referred you, you won that first place for $100, you get $100, I get 50. So wow. we're, tr we're trying to partner with influencers or just, you know, influencers that have maybe 10, 15, 20,000 followers and they can refer 100, 200, 500 people or just individual people, maybe like guy, you know, at a frat who runs his frat and he's like, hey, everyone use my code and then he's winning when his friends are winning. So instead of rooting against your friends, you're rooting for them because if they win, you win too. And We've got a cool feature on the app itself where you can see everybody in the that. app and everybody in the app is in green that you refer to. So you can see, hey, they're winning five dollars this week. They're winning two bucks. They're winning 100. And you can see that. And every week you'll see a list of those people broken out and how much you won based on what they won. So a new way to push referrals versus, you know, just saying, hey, get it five dollars per sign up. And then all of a sudden those yeah. people disappear. So we're seeing better retention with that. I bet. I love that model. I think that uh, really encourages uh, longer standing, you know, uh, interest in in how your referrals do, right? Because yeah, the whole traditional mindset of, oh, let me bring somebody in, then I don't really care. I get my $5 commission and move on. I love that. Now I can kind of put a little vested interest in, well, one, I mean, and if you have a community, you can actually help each other try to win, right? Like it could be part of that whole model. So I, I love that model. That's, that's pretty cool. 
Awesome. And then, yeah, we also like in those things, uh, you know, you can have your own group, right? So you can create yeah. a group. You know, if you want to send out your picks, we had one guy actually sending out his picks and had all these different people following him. And one week he finished third and he had like seven or eight people in the top 10 with all his same picks or very close because some people probably say, hey, I'm going to change one thing around and maybe take yeah. advantage. But no, he had about 25 to 30 people in the top 100. Uh, he Not every week is he, he's, is he that great of a picker, but, you know, it's one of those things where you have a whole group following you and you guys can win together, which is fantastic. So you've already mentioned a couple differentiators, but what I want to, you know, I, I know the free to play space sometimes can be a crowded area. There's a lot of companies kind of after that, or there have been on and off, you know, a lot of different products out there that are going after the free to play market in the sports and sports betting space specifically. Um, tell us a few ways that win streaks a little different than the other products that might be out there. You know, what, what differentiates you from other, um, other platforms that might be in your competitive space? Yeah, sure. So, so a lot of those, they, you know, they're partnering with big gambling companies. So, mm -hmm. you know, the sponsors are, you know, DraftKings, FanDuel, stuff like mm -hmm. that. We have sponsors that are really looking, you know, looking for people that enjoy sports. So Chinook Seeds, are you familiar with Chinook Seeds? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So they gave, uh, they gave us a thousand free sample packs. So it's a uh, eight different flavors. Uh, and it's, you know, they can win those types of prizes. So we're giving those away if you refer a couple friends. Um, we also have game time tickets. We got five, over $5,000 worth of gift cards from them. Um, we partnered with the El Paso Chihuahuas, minor league baseball teams, Las Vegas Aviators. Hmm. So we're really focused on partnering with those types of teams and groups that are really focused in on like, hey, how do we make people's sports experiences better? Yeah. Versus just saying, hey, come in here, win some points get, you know, get free money to go play or go gamble on, you know, five to win 150 on a DraftKings or FanDuel. And, you know, people are enjoying the aspect of, hey, you get this points bank every week. Even if you don't win, you can turn those in for prizes. So we're turning it into turning back the clock where you have this arcade like style where, hey, every week you get points or you have more, you know, tickets. And after three, four weeks, you can earn a prize versus all those different things of free to play. We need you in there for five, 10, 20 minutes a day to make money. Ours is no, make your five picks a day. And that's it. So it's a simple game. You can literally log into the app for, you know, 15, 30 seconds if you want, or yeah. you can scroll through and you can spend more time looking at all the different games, all the different sports and, you know, finding what different prizes you want and watching ads to increase your chances. And so those five picks that you make every day um, are cross sport. They can be cross sport. They're not just a hey, five in MLB and five in NBA and five in NFL. This is a cross sport thought mentality, correct? Yeah, so we have just the major six, right? So MLB, yep. NHL, NFL, um, NBA, and then and then college football and college basketball. So right now you might have three or four NBA games going on, you know, three or four NHL games, and then 12 to 15 MLB games, and you pick any five. And the way that you get, it's not just a point per win. So if you have an underdog and you take them, you're going to get more points than if you take a favorite. So the Celtics last night, they're favored by 10 and a half points. We use money lines to convert the points. So if you took Got the it. Celtics, you would have gotten maybe, I think, 18 or 19 points. And you took the Heat, you would have got 80 or 81 points. So it's a 100-point scale. So you take the underdogs, you get more points. But you could also lose those games and not get any points. Yeah, I love that. Simple, you know, simple and uh, easy to use, I think, is, is a key to this space. You know, there's a lot of these that get super convoluted and complex that you just kind of get overwhelmed and, uh, I love the simplicity of this model. Um, sounds pretty cool. Uh, but one thing I wanted to ask you and touch on um, is the marketing side. You know, you mentioned that you only spent, you know, maybe 10 grand on marketing. So I haven't really put a, a bunch into marketing. So how do you get visibility? Because the, the name of the game here is getting people and getting eyeballs and getting people into the space. What's your game plan and experience been on the marketing side for this? Yeah, sure. So we, you know, do some posts on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, TikTok, stuff like that. But just brought on a CMO, a fractional CMO to really that has worked in the app space. So understanding how to grow apps and where to spend marketing dollars and who to reach out to. But the main thing that I've been able to put together and I've gotten some good traction, especially from the FSGA conference and just reaching out is partnering with other fantasy apps or people that have big, you know, subscriber lists in the sports space. Mm -hmm. And the partnership I have there is, hey, if you guys want to share your lists with us or, for example, send a message out. So let's say let's say Noob Sports wanted to put together an email saying, hey, everyone, you know, come download Winstreaks. Instead of me paying per download, 
I'm paying or splitting the ad revenue that I'm getting per player. And it's about mm. 50 cents per month that I'm getting, you know, just on the ad banners that are showing there, no money out of people's pockets. So sure. if I have a, a sports app company or a fantasy company that has 50,000, 100,000 people in their subscriber list and they want to send out an email, we're splitting that revenue 50 50. So that's how I'm getting those eyes on it, partnering cool. with bigger, more uh, successful, and, you know, more in the know companies where, hey, if they have got 100,000 people on their subscriber list or even 500,000 or a million and we get five, 10,000 signups, that can be five, 10 grand of revenue coming their way just for putting stuff together. So that's what I'm focused on now where it doesn't cost me anything and yeah. it grows and everybody splits in the profits. So those are the ways I'm trying to do it. If I'm, if they're successful and they are working on promoting it, I'm going to be successful as well. So those are the things that I'm really focused on for partnerships. That's cool. That's cool. I love that model as well. Uh, doing some great things here, Brett. I love, I love everything I've uh, heard so far about win streaks. I haven't got my chance to like really dive in and play it yet, but I'm planning on it. After hearing what's going on here, I'm planning on it right after this, getting all added into it and, and rocking and rolling. So what's the future look like for you guys, though? What's uh, I mean, is it as simple as just continuing to pour into development and marketing and growing or are there any big uh, future plans for win streaks? Yeah, I mean, so right now, just really want to get that number. So, you know, we we raised 125K a year and a half mm -hmm. ago from an accelerator. And now we're trying to get about anywhere between 250,000 and 500 on the next round so we can really push that marketing. The numbers we have are great, right? If we get, if we're acquiring users for, or players, I don't like to call them users. Uh, if we're acquiring people, players for under a dollar and we're making more than 50 cents per on each of those and just in the ad revenue for playing, it's almost like one of those cash machines, right? You put a dollar in, you get a dollar 25 back or whatever it is. So yeah, we're trying to prove that out. And that's really the, the next step is putting that money into the marketing piece. Um, and that's, you know, that's the main, the main name of the game. No crazy things. Again, like you said, we like to keep it simple. And if we can grow to five to 10,000 players, A, we're going to be able to raise that money easier. And we've got a lot of other sponsors that said, hey, this makes sense. If you can show that you've got 10,000 eyes on this every single day, we could come in there. So I'm not going to, you know, say certain companies, but any company you're watching that are on, you know, those sports games on TVs, on, on your TV, those are companies that are showing interest, but you need to get at least 10,000 people logging in your app, you know, a thousand doesn't matter to them. So looking to raise funds. So potentially somebody listening to this, if you want to reach out to Brett, how would they get a hold of you? What's the best way to get a hold of you? Uh, if they wanted to chat through uh, potential fundraising and things of that nature. Yeah, sure. So Brett with two T's at Winstreaks, uh, you can send me an email or if you're in the app, uh, there's a thing that says reach out to the con to the uh, support at Winstreaks. That's the best way to do it. Um, and you know, if you just go on, on our website, the phone, my phone number, uh, is right there too. So all those three ways are very easy to get in touch with me. Cool. Hey, Brett, before I let you go, I want to shift gears real quick. Uh, you seem like a young, savvy business entrepreneur. Uh, and I love just tapping into the brains of, of leaders and, and people doing amazing things in sports business. So uh, I'm going to ask you maybe a challenging question. We'll see. It may be pretty simple, but uh, if you could give advice to another young sports entrepreneur that maybe was just getting started or thinking about starting up some idea they had, some business they had, what's one piece of advice you would have uh, to somebody that just wanted to start something? What's what's one piece of advice you'd give? Yeah, so great question. Uh, I guess the easiest, the first step is do your research. So before you start something, uh, take a look at what's out there. And mm. if there's things like your idea, see why it failed or why it's doing well. Mm. Uh, because it's tough to put a lot of money into something and then realize three, six, 12 months down the road that it's not going to work. Yeah. And also, you know, going to these types of conferences, people are really friendly in this industry. Um, I don't, you might not think it because gambling and people are trying to take money and da da da. But no, I joined the FSGA two years ago, Fantasy Sports and Gaming Association. And going to those conferences, you're talking to CEOs of Underdog, uh, Prize Picks, uh, Guillotine League, just, you know, another shout out, all these different people that are in the industry and they're very helpful and friendly. So going there and talking to those people and understanding, that's a great way to at least get your feet wet and understand the the market and potentially what can work and what's already been done. And again, it's some people don't want to hear the word no, or it's not going to be successful. And I hear that a lot, but if, as long as you understand where the no's are coming from and you figure out the why's and if you can combat those no's and turn them into yeses, that's a way to do it. But yeah, you don't want to be running and spending all your time thinking about something versus being able to execute or at least knowing what's happened and why other people have failed. And if you can come up with the ways to make yourself successful where other people fell short, that's how you're going to make a winning business. 
Great advice. Great advice, Brett. I hope uh, there's some young ears out there listening and eager and ready to start something that take that to heart before they do. So thank you for that advice. And speaking of uh, conferences, are you going to be at the uh, SBC conference coming up here in early May? 100%. Yeah, next week. I'm uh, flying in, flying in Monday night. So yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, I just found out. I haven't been to an SBC before, but found out Thursday is going to be a good night too. I guess everyone goes into Times Square and there's a big, uh, big party and everything. So looking forward to staying the whole, the whole uh, three day conference and meeting a lot of people and reconnecting with people that I've met in the past. Absolutely. The SBC conferences are like none other, man. They're really, really fun. And uh, the night events are always a great time. So I'm looking forward to everything about that. And I'm looking forward to sit down and chatting with you. So let's make sure we make that happen as well. Awesome. And before we go, cause I feel like we're closing um, anybody who downloads win streaks, that's listening to this. I want to make sure they get a, you know, a bonus. So, we have these things called boosts. So if you lose a game, you don't get to get your pick back unless you use a boost. So if you sign up and use code NUP, then you're going to get 50 free boosts. So just put in K-N-U-P and you're going to get that. So I figured a little shout out there to you. And then again, anyone who uses that code, you're going to get 50% of their winnings too. So I figure shout out to you, Ryan, for having me on your show today. I love that. No, thank you. Appreciate it. And uh, I'd urge everybody listening to do that. And we'll make sure to post that on the site as well and uh, try to get some people in and Man, maybe we can get some winners. Let's get some let's get some winners out there. Win some streaks. That's uh that's what it's all about. Love it, man. Thank you for having me again. I appreciate it. No, really appreciate you being here, uh, for sure. And uh look forward to all the success that uh, is to come from win streaks. And if you ever need anything from me, make sure to reach out. So appreciate we'll you being here, Brett. Absolutely, and I'll see you next week. All right, take care. Thank you. Thanks. All right, that was Brett DeBerry of Win Streaks, episode 220. Uh, seems like an amazing product and an amazing individual uh, in this space. So I urge you if, you, if any of that was interesting to you and you have other questions for Brett or uh, you want to reach out regarding working potentially with them, please make sure to reach out to Brett. I'll put the links to him and the emails and stuff that he said in the show notes uh, for your for your research for later. All right. Well, that's uh, episode 220. I hope to see you all at SBC. Again, new partner VIP. If you have not got your ticket, make sure you can get a little discount uh, on your ticket if you have not yet. Uh, but if you are going, man, I can't wait to see you at that event. Should be a lot of good, uh, a lot of good times as always. All right, I'm Ryan Newple checking out from episode 220. Take care, stay safe, and we'll talk to you in the next one. All right, talk to you later. 